guys, I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to episode 15 of Logo History Showdown. We got, today we got two satellite television providers going head to head in a battle to see who is the best of the best. By the way, the show is based on Logo Battle by Peter John, so thank you again. I inspired this series, inspired of his, so thank you so much. For now, let's get started, but first, the results of our previous showdown. So at our previous showdown, FedEx took on UPS and developed the most popular shipping companies. Voting is now closed thanks to everyone who voted. Now it's time to find out which one will win it all. The results are in. Let's find out. Let's find out which one is going to win it all. The winner of this showdown and will win episode 14 of Logan History Showdown is... FedEx! Congratulations, FedEx. You win episode 14 of Logan History Showdown. Again... What a finish, my friends. This is, this is as close as we can get. So let's take a look at the final results. Unbelievable, my friends. 90% say FedEx gets to win. What a finish to, to that. Well, 10% of you say UPS. But it doesn't matter, my friends. So FedEx gets to win while UPS suffers defeat. Next time. Next time, you'll get a UPS. I know. There will always be next time. But for now... FedEx is your winner, winning episode 14 of Logan History Showdown. So congratulations, so congratulations again. If you want to go see the match again, it's up there at the top right corner of the screen. Click the info card up above and watch it anytime you want, whenever you want. Now, without other way, let's get to today's showdown. For episode 15, we got a battle of the most popular satellite TV providers. It is between DirecTV and Dish Network. Guys, this should be pretty exciting, my friends. You're about to see what is going to blow you away. So guys, if you're ready for it, so am I. Let's get the disclaimer out of the way, and that is that images are taken from the PF at all critical to everyone. The images are your best seat, not me, nor to anybody else. So remember that as we go along. Got it? Good. With all that said, let's get started. First up, in the blue corner, Direct TV. And here's a show by those who don't know what Direct TV is. Direct TV, trying to ask Direct TV, is an American multinational channel, American multi channel video programming distributor based in El Segundo, California. Originally launched on June 17, 1994, its primary service is a digital satellite service serving the United States. It also provides a traditional linear television service delivered through by IP through its Uverse TV brand and a virtual MVPD service through its Direct TV stream brand. Its primary competitors are Dish Network, which I'll talk about later on in the videos, so please stay tuned for that, traditional cable television providers, IP-based television services, and other over-the-top video services. On July 24, 2015, after receiving approval from the Federal Communications Commission and the Department of Justice, AT&T acquired DirecTV and a transaction valued at $67.1 billion. Yikes, that's a lot. I know. At the, as of the end of, of Q1, quarter one of 2021, AT&T had 15.9 million paid TV customers, including DirecTV, Uverse, and DirecTV Stream customers. On February 25th, 2021, AT&T announced that it would spin off DirecTV, Uverse TV, and DirecTV Stream into a separate entity, selling a 30% stake to TPG Incorporated, while retaining a 70% stake in the new standalone company. The deal closed on August 2nd, 2021. And that is everything you need to know about DirecTV, but... Speaking of which, I'm not sure what the TPG stands for. Let me guess. It stands for Texas Pacific Group. So remember that. Again, Texas Pacific Group. All right, let's get to the stats. Company name is DirecTV. Industry is multi-channel Video dis programming distributor found on June 17, 1994. Owners are AT&T with 70% and TPG Inc. with 30%. Again, Texas Pacific Group. Headquarters are in to California. So is get your TV together. So remember that website, www.directtv.com. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. So make sure you go check it out. Otherwise, let's get right to it. The logo history of Direct TV. 1985 to 1990, the company was founded as Hughes Electronics. We have here a blue round of rectangle. Inside it, there's were hues and white text under the rectangle. There are some more electronics and black text, and that's it. Here's the print version. 1993, they changed their name to Direct TV. There's just one Direct TV in black lowercase text, except the letters D and T are just in in uppercase. So keep that in mind. 1993 to 2005, we have here a a, a blue rectangle on it. There's a there's a transparent shape that looks like a cyclone, and the letter D. Remember that under the sh under the right table, there's where Direct TV and black text, except the letters TV are in bold text, and that's all. Here's the print version, the horizontal version, the print version, the horizontal version, and the version with white text. 2005 to 2011, the you know, the, the, the right table is now the, the, the right table is now fully the right table is now rounded, and 
One part of the one part of the rectangle is now brighter. The font of the text has changed and it is now in blue text. So that's it. Here's the print version, the horizontal version, the print version or horizontal version, the 3D version, the satellite television version, of the print version of the satellite television version, a variant of the satellite television version, and the 3D version of the satellite television version. And we also have the icon, the print version, the icon, the warmark, the print version, uh, and the print version of the warmark. 2008 to 2011, the same as warmark, except the logo is now 3D. So that's it. Here's the satellite television version and uh, and, and the version with the way it fell. 2011 to 2015, the, the, the shape is, the sl is, is slightly thinner. It's slightly thinner, and the font has changed, and all the letters are now in bold text. So that's all. Here's the print version, the 2D version, the horizontal version, the a variant of the horizontal version, the 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 2D horizontal version, the print horizontal version, and the authorized retailer version. 2015, it's the same as before, but now the, the, uh, the rectangle that's above the text has been removed, leaving only the word direct TV behind. So that's it. Here's the print version, the version with the slogan, now part of the AT&T family, the 2D version with their slogan, a variant, but without the AT&T globe, and the authorized dealer version. 2016 to 2021, same as before, but now the word direct TV is now fully in black text, and now on the left, there's the AT&T globe. That, yeah, because of a blue circle with five white, a blue circle with five white lines on it. So that's it. Here's the print version, the static version, the print version, the static version, the warmark, the version with white text, and the, the authorized dealer version, and the print version of the authorized dealer version. If I just want 21 to the present, the AT&T logo has been removed. The text is now in blue text, except the letters D, I, R, E, and C are now split by a transparent line, making those letters in half black, half blue text. And while we'll, we'll keeping the letters T, F, E fully in blue text. So that's it. Here's the white version, the icon. The blue version of the icon and the white version of the icon. Now we've got there are putting in the red corner Dish Network. Here's the show by photos who don't know what Dish Network is. Dish Network Corporation, Dish, acronym for Digital Sky Highway, is an American television provider and this owner of the base direct, uh, direct broadcast satellite to satellite provider Dish, commonly known as Dish Network, and, and, and the over the top IPTV service Slink TV. Additionally, Dish offers mobile wireless service. Dish Wireless. On July 1st, 2020, Dish acquired prepaid service Boost Mobile and intends to add postpaid, the postpaid service as well in the future. Based out, based out of unincorporated Douglas County, Colorado, the company has approximately 16,000 employees. Wow, that's a lot, my friends. Let's take a look at stats here. Company name is Dish Network. Industries are satellite television uh, and telecommunications tele 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 founded in um, um, 1980 as the original EchoStar. And on March 4, 1996, as Dish Network founders are Jim DeFranco, Charlie Ergen, and Kante Ergen. Headquarters are already in Colorado, U.S. Their slogan is tuned in to you. Yep, that's right. Website www.dish.com. The link is in the description down below. Make sure you go check it out while you can. For now, let's jump right into the logo history of Dish Network. 1996 to 2000. We have here a a, a red ring on it. There are the words dish and network in black text. Except the letter, except the letter I is is a red circle with kind of for me six six red curved lines all representing sound waves. That's a lot, my friends. Here's the print version, the the shadowed version, the version with a slogan, the print version with a slogan, uh, and the, the version without the word network, and the print version without the word network. 1999 to 2000. The 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 ring is slightly is slightly thinner, is slightly thicker. The but the bottom part is, and there's only, and now there are only four sound waves instead of six, and also the font has changed. So that's it. Here's the print version and the version with the slogan. How would you like your TV? And no, that's right. Just to 2005, the font changed again, and and the ring now looks different. So that's it. Here's the print version. 2005 to 2012, the, the lower part of the ring has been removed, and the and the top part of the ring is is split off from the circle. Itself, so that's it. Here is the print version, the version where it's looking better TV for all, the version without the word network, the print version without the word network, both which are currently used for um, a dish network in Mexico. I know, and we have the 3D version. 2012, 2019, the word network is removed. The top part of the ring has been removed as well, and te and the text is now fully in red text. And that's it. Here's the print version, a very with a very uh, a very where the circle and the sound waves are are are, are in their original colors, similar to the previous logo. And the inverted version, the version with a slogan, tune in to you, and the horizontal version with a slogan. And finally, 2019 to the present, same as four, except the font has changed, and now there are three sound waves instead of just four. And that's it. Here's the print version, the version with a slogan, another version with a slogan, and the horizontal version with a slogan. With that, it's all over. Who wins this battle? Or should I say, who wins the showdown? 
DirecTV or Dish Network. Vote now to the committee tab. Voting closes three days after this video is published. You decide who wins. We'll have the results for you at the start of the next episode. But with that being said, that's it for today. Thanks for watching this episode of Logo History Showdown. Hope you all like it, and I hope you all help. Hope I will see you all very soon for the next episode. For another installment of Logo History Showdown, be on looking for the next episode of Logo History coming soon, where it's going to be about WDA and F. Besides, a new episode just came out earlier today. It was about VTV Kanto. So, if you've seen yet, go watch it right now. And also, be on looking for Logo Reviews coming soon, where it's going to be about PBS Kids. Plus, we got plus we got Samuel Supremacy coming back with a new episode very, very soon. And and I hope and I hope this should be a good one. So be on the lookout for the next episode of Logo of Samuel Supremacy coming soon. The next episode will be What's the next episode going to be? It's gonna be Honeyfield vs. Monkey Cheese. We expect that to come out very soon. Also, expect the next episode the next episode of Movie History DreamWorks Animation to come out very soon. It's going to be about the Boss Baby. So don't miss it, guys. Otherwise, for the rest of the schedule, please check us out on the video channel. But now, thanks for watching. I'm Mikael Sanchez. You yourself. I'll see you next time on Logo History Showdown. Stay tuned for the next showdown. Episode 16 is coming soon. It's a battle of the most popular movie studios. Disney versus Warner Bros. Pictures. By Disney, I mean Walt Disney Pictures. So expect that video to come out very soon. I hope this should be pretty exciting. Will it be good enough? You'll have to tune in next time to find out. It will be here before you know it. So stay tuned for episode 16 coming soon where it's be about the most popular movies to use Walt Disney Pictures versus Warner Brothers Pictures. Please stay tuned. Otherwise, if you want to go catch up on past episodes, I've got a playlist for you. I'll put a link to the playlist up there at the top of my corner screen. Click the info card up above and watch it anytime you want, whenever you want. But all that being said, thanks again for watching. Please remember to leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to miss a video. Subscribe to the notification to try to miss a new video for me as we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers. We're halfway through, my friends. Halfway through! So, so please subscribe now. Otherwise, thanks for today. Thanks again for watching. You're the best. I'm your guest. Say out. Thanks. Until next time. Like, fair, subscribe for Logo History Showdown. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Later's.